Hello, Trailblazers. You may have heard LWR and LWC come up in Experience Cloud discussions, but aren't quite sure why these new technologies are such a huge milestone for Salesforce user experience. The goal of this video is to demystify some of the terminology and share a broad overview of some key considerations when planning your next digital experience. So let's get started with some terminology. Experience Cloud was previously named Community Cloud, and Community is one of the several names you may still hear used to describe a digital experience. Experience Cloud is a digital experience platform, so you may also hear it referred to as Salesforce DXP. At their core, digital experiences are web or mobile applications that are created to cater to its particular audience. Since they're built on the Salesforce platform, the data and processes that live in Salesforce can be used to create unique experiences for each audience. So a common use for a customer audience would be a customer community that provides self-service help resources like knowledge articles or an automated chatbot. Digital experiences are also used to improve partner relationships through better communication and data visibility. Common examples of partner audiences would include outside sales agents, distributors, or channel partners. Digital experiences can be specifically tailored to these audiences and show the data and provide the functionality that those type of roles would most often need. One of the big decisions in creating a new digital experience is deciding which template should be used to build with. But before selecting a template, it's good to understand the implications related to frameworks and components. So frameworks are the underlying technology used to build the template. The templates themselves include pre-built layouts and out-of-the-box components. And the components are the modular elements used to create layouts and pages. So to use an analogy, imagine Lego as a framework. A template would be a partially built Lego product. And the components would be the individual Lego blocks that come with that product and can be moved around to customize it. So there are three frameworks on the digital experience platform, Visual Force, Aura, and Lightning Web Runtime, or LWR. Visual Force was the first framework to allow custom UI development on Salesforce. It predates the Lightning experience by many years and it has a Salesforce classic look. Uh, while Visual Force is still common for certain use cases, it's not the best option if your goal is to create a, a branded, modern looking digital experience. For the Aura framework, there are several pre configured template options to meet most common use cases. Uh, the Aura templates also include a good selection of out of the box Aura components but options are limited when it comes to customizing or styling those components. The R framework is a good one to consider if you'd like to get up and running quickly and customization and styling capabilities are not critical for your project. And then there's Lightning Web Runtime or LWR. This is certainly the most modern option. However, only Lightning Web components can be used with the Lightning Web Runtime framework. LWR is the fastest, most flexible framework, but building on LWR may require some custom LWC development based on the project requirements. So in looking at the components, uh, Visual Force uh, are typically referred to as Visual Force pages. Uh, again, these are still in use, but just not common in external facing digital experiences. Uh, more commonly used are the Aura components within the Aura framework. Uh, there are lots of options available, uh, but again, styling options are limited and functionality cannot be customized without rebuilding the individual components. Also, Salesforce announced the retirement of Aura UI component support. And then there's Lightning Web Components or LWC. These have the fastest performance and the greatest flexibility. That's because unlike R components or Visual Force, 
Lightning Web Components are developed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, just like the modern web. They're versatile, can be used in desktop experiences, mobile applications, and even internal Salesforce apps. The technology used to create Lightning Web Components is more widely understood, making it easier to build, update, and reuse Lightning Web Components. So what does it all mean for Salesforce user experience? HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are the core technologies used to create the modern web as we know it. So now with Lightning Web Components, developers have a way to merge those modern web aesthetics with Salesforce data and functionality. This is applicable to external facing community or experience cloud digital experiences, uh, but also applicable internally as Lightning Record pages are comprised of components and will accept custom Lightning Web components as well. There are also other technologies being included in some of the industry specific products. So Omni Studio is a, a way of declaratively building Lightning Web components. And I think it's safe to say we're going to see continued enhancements to the out of the box templates, the out of the box components available with those LWR templates, and broadly speaking, just wider use of web standards and uh, modern web aesthetic in Salesforce UI design. So this really opens the door to a new world of opportunities when it comes to customizing user interfaces, both for external community users and internal Salesforce users. Please share if you found this helpful and leave a comment if you'd like to see other Experience Cloud topics covered in future videos. Thanks for watching and happy trailblazing.